My name is Maria. And I'm Sam. I am a huge fan. I haven't seen this show. Welcome to The Boss Summer. This episode makes me feel like when in the first season I said, I remember coming back home from school and ah. watching it. I have the same feeling plus serialization. Nostalgia. We are in full serialization mode. Sure. Yeah. It brings you back. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Great times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One night, the lead dog turned up a snowshoe rabbit, lay down low to the race, his body flashing forward leap by leap. What a start. Yeah, we don't often get a storybook intro. Nope. And the parts of his nature that were deeper than he. The rabbit could not... Oh. Yay! Okay. Wait, is that Oz? Yes. <laughs> uh, so they updated the werewolf costume? Yes. Reporting for Ozwatch. Damn. I know. Call of the Wild. Quick second. Yes. I knew this was going to be the first thing. Go Xander. on. Yes. That's, uh, that's a good look for you, buddy. Right? Yeah, I'm not always a fan. Like, red is a bold choice for pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it works because he's keeping it simple. Yes, and the top, it yeah. works. Um, there's a balance. Absolutely. Yes. And obviously it shows off that he's definitely in good shape. His physique. Yeah. I know. He looks so good. I yeah. feel like the costuming department maybe should have got a little bit baggier of a sweater. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because this is just like, you know, wow. Yeah. But <laughs> cool. Great. Can't say I love the pants for Willow, but the pink cardigan's really nice. Yeah. It's cardigan, really hard sweater. Probably sweater. sweater. No, it's sweater because sweater. No, nothing here. Yeah. I wow. like the pink, pink sweater. Yeah. yeah. I mean, soft pink. Yes. Yeah. Aren't we reading the cliff notes to this for English? Some of us are. Anyway, it'll help you stay awake. I don't know if it will. Hmm. Seems to soothe the savage beast, except for the parts about rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> you and you and just, just like a whisper. Yes. Rabbis. Rabbis. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Seems to make him a little overexcited. If he forgets where his clothes are, they're on top of the file cabinet. I put those towels up for privacy. Oh, everything, you know, set up right yep. now at this point. No worries. I can handle the odds full Monty. Not handle, handle, like uh, hands to flesh. Yeah, she got it. Yeah. I'm sure she got it. Yeah. Not for you. It's for me. I don't think she was <laughs> really confused. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm still getting used to half a Monty. Half? You and Oz? Which half? Which do you think? <laughs> yeah. But whatever. Yes. He's more manageable tonight. Tomorrow night, the total full moon, that's when he's a real woofer. A real woofer? Yeah, I don't know. In case there's trouble. Sleepy time. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for doing this. I wouldn't have asked, but I have this test. No big. Got my coffee, magazines, figured I'd read. Just yeah. one quick, because if his baby cousin is yeah. also a werewolf, yeah. you'd assume that his family knows about yeah. the two of yeah, them, yeah, yeah. at least, being mm -hmm. werewolves, would they not be trying to take care of us? They We're might just not have a cage at home, and maybe it's not, like, everyone in the family. You well, know? I figure like, it's not everyone in the family. Yeah, yeah, I assume yeah, it's so. just the two of them so far, unless sure. other family members have yeah. gotten bitten by yes. the kid, which wouldn't be a shock. Absolutely, yeah. However, yeah. I'm just wondering where it is, like, mom and dad are. I'm going to go well, Obviously, with, you can't say anything. Oh, yes. Here. I'm just going with, like, they might not have a cage, and this is just a great place for him to be. Oh, you that's know? true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. I mean, the library does have library jail, so... I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it really says book return on there. Yeah. Book return. <laughs> yes. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. And um, what is he doing straight oh, away? Going to sleep. That is that's Bro. so shit. <laughs> Dude. What the fuck? I'm sure if you tried, he would be able to stay. Did you ever catch kids doing the ditty out here? There's a smooch spot up by the woods. It's usually where kids go. Bet you and Scott have been up there kicking the gear shift. We're leaving on a few dates. Oh, well, I guess that's nice. Yeah. You like him. Think about him, you get that good down low tickle, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you know, stomach, butterflies. Sure. Yeah. But he is nice and funny. Quiet a muffin. Quiet a muffin? Quite a muffin. He makes quite a muffin? No, I think he's like a muffin. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be any kind of hell beast. All men are beasts. Well, that's rude. Yeah. I was hoping to not get that cynical till I was at least 40. <laughs> it's not cynical. I mean, it's realistic. No, dude. It's cynical. Every guy from Manimal to Mr. I Love the English Patient has beast in him. What about women? That's a good question. I don't know. They're all still just in it for the chase. Oh, Aww. buddy. Oh. We know what happens when somebody trips. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like 
the number one thing in a chase scene, a TV show, a movie, don't trip. Yeah. But someone's going to trip. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> I don't think that's true. There's an awful general hey, station. Hmm. That's what I stopped you for, basically. Okay. Hey. Cool. Aww. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> Howdy, Debbie. Hi, Oz. Hey, you're not doing jazz band this year? Can't take the pressure. It's not the music that's hard, it's the marching. Oh, okay. We have a marching jazz band? Yeah, but since the best jazz is improvisational, we'd be going off in all directions. I hear his point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. jazz is specifically supposed to be improvised. Improvised, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I think it works best live specifically for yeah. that reason, mm -hmm. much like a jam band, mm -hmm. who I guess, you know, took a lot of influence from jazz, let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know what a jam band is, just think Grateful Dead or Fish. The fish with a pH. If you don't, if you don't know, you just look them up. It's fine. It's kind of same shit. Better Grateful Dead though. I don't know. I don't really listen to <laughs> jam band stuff. Uh, I like you know some improvisation and a live show, mm -hmm. but uh, mostly pretty structured. So mm -hmm. you know, yeah. pretty flowers. Thanks. Them I'm sure Scott does that kind of stuff. You too. Aww. No. Oh, putting them on the spot. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we're not there yet. Are we? Up to flowers? Did I miss flowers? <laughs> no, we're pre posy. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Pre posy. Yeah. Nice. I have to go see Mr. Platt today. The school counselor? Convince him that I'm a little miss stable so I can stay in school. Well, good Ooh. luck. Yes. Platt creeps me out. I would totally quit going, but my teacher says I have success issues. Aww. What, do you, what does that mean? Yeah. Afraid of success? Senior bio, I kind of aced that final. Do you want my notes? They're yours. Thanks. That'd be great. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Recheck every possible exit avenue. Oh, that's a waste of time. I was here all night. You were asleep were all night. <laughs> yeah. No need to panic. Poker, not your game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the deal, Joss? Most likely, there, there, there is no deal. But mm, is it most likely? If there was a deal, it would concern murder. <laughs> a male student was was found in, in the woods, partially eaten. Mm. Jeff Walken. I know him. Yeah. Yeah. He was um, terribly mauled. Mm -hmm. mm. It could be the handiwork of, of me. Yeah. yeah. But it's not. The room was secured, gate was locked, and the window unbreakable and open. Ooh. Open. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I rest my eyes now and then. That's all. Bro. Now and then. It's a good thing there's no fucking cameras in here. Yeah. How long? A little now, uh, a little then. I never heard Oz leave, and he was here in the morning when I um, woke up. When I. Oh, Xander. Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah. You can put it that way if you want to. Oh, God. Well, nothing is concrete. Yeah. I do question why they left Xander in charge of Oz in the first place. Were there no other options? Yeah. Miss Summers. Reporting for sanity. <laughs> I know that I have to do this and I'll look at your ink blots and everything, but... I don't feel like he's doing any Rorschach tests. I know. I don't want to talk about my life or anything for that matter, actually. I don't want to be friends here. We're not going to be friends. No. You have friends already. I hope. I hope. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, friends are a good thing. They like you. I know this guy. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you what you want to hear. It's not what you need right now. Um, yeah. What you need is a trained professional who will always give you his honest opinion. That'd be nice. Huh. Is he actually good at this? Mm hmm Which I offer you. FC. I like that he's like, seems very normal. Yeah. Any person who claims to be totally sane is either lying or not very bright. Okay. I mean, everyone has problems. Uh, I... Everybody has demons, right? Yes, yeah. I hear what he's saying. Yes, definitely. I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. Demons can be fought. You can change. That's a very nice thought. Hmm. Now, let's start with why you ran away. Oh, that's complicated. Have you thought about this? Yeah. I'm really over it. I feel good. I'm, I'm even dating someone new. That's nice, but you should be able to talk about it. Yeah. All good things. That's true. Yeah. But still, you, you're bringing me in at the end of the movie. Yeah, how, how can you talk about this with him? I was dating someone. It ended badly. Uh-huh. My mom and I were fighting and I kind of freaked. It was just too much. Yeah. Tell me more about this bad ending guy. <laughs> what can she fucking tell you? I loved him. And then he... Changed. <laughs> That's just one way of putting it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He got mean. Yes. I appreciate that at the very least they've written that arc well enough that she can say it in non-supernatural terms. Yes. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On everything. She can't exactly say, well, I had to murder him. Yes. So that sucked. She can say he's dead to me. Yeah. 
That's true. He's also dead to everyone else, but... <laughs> yes. Details. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. And you didn't stop loving him. Okay. Lots of people lose themselves in love. It's no shame. I'd probably just unpause too early. Yeah. I do want to say there is a difference between dating someone in, like who's a normal person who seems really nice and then sort of turns into a monster or whatever versus dating a vampire who has a soul and then has that taken away. Yeah. It's not really the same. It's For sure. it's a pretty good overall metaphor, but it's definitely not one-to-one. -one. No, 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 no. You know, so some of the advice you might get based on just that alone, it's just not going to be sufficient. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. You can't stay lost. You have to get back to yourself. Yeah. Well, assuming you know who you are, it's a difficult one. Yeah. And if you can't? Love becomes your master and you're just its dog. I don't know how uh, hmm. easy it is to understand that. Yeah. You may be talking a little too much in metaphor. Yeah. and Especially for a teenager. Exactly. Too, yeah. too grown up as well. Oz ate someone last night. We don't know that. Oz does not eat people. It's more werewolf play. Yeah, he, apparently he just molds them. <laughs> If that happened. Potentially. Yeah. Is it Oz's fault that side effect people get cut to ribbons and maybe then he'll take a little nibble? Okay. I'm not helping, am I? No. Yeah, you should stop. I do appreciate he's trying. Yeah. Oz may have got out of his cage last night. Or maybe there's a, another werewolf roaming the woods. Or another kind of animal? Mm hmm. Perhaps it's something else entirely. We'll work together and we'll figure this out. Yes! Patrol the woods. Uh, the others check out the morgue. Right. We can see if it's a werewolf kill or not. But what about us? Well, obviously he stays in. I have some research materials at home I need to look at. We could ask Faith to watch over him. Yeah. Oh, you're having a Slayer watch me? Well, good we're not overreacting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, she is one of the best candidates, though. Yes. You know that thing where you bail in the middle of an upsetting conversation? I have to do that. <laughs> Sometimes it's a necessary guy thing. The explanation. I was. I want you to do the guy thing, but... I don't think it's a specific guy thing. It's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. There we go. Got to get in the cage. So what is it yeah. like, what, three nights a month yes. or something? Yes, yeah. yeah okay. Before. During and after. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. But yeah, how he handles all of this is just so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Us? Get away from the cage. Maybe uh, secure the window. I'm going to say they already did. I'd hope. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen soon. Get away from me. Oh, so rough. He wasn't even able to take a breather there. Yeah. Just in case it's a vampire, I guess. Well, of course. Yeah. And quite frankly, you can stab almost anything with a stake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's I mean, right. Of yeah. course, yeah. <laughs> it's just didn't what a really shock. expect him to be mauling people so much as just getting blood. Sure, sure, sure. What, is he savage now? <laughs> oh no, she has to slay him again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think that's happening. I mean, yeah, we know he has his soul back. Mm -hmm. Oh, she can beat him unconscious, even in this state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, he's kind of wild, but he's also probably like um, weakened. Yeah, that makes sense. Did they do the nose thing, you know, when you apply some cream so it doesn't smell? <laughs> well, they're not people who fucking handle, that's, you know, Yeah, no, that's fair. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, so there's your answer. <laughs> yeah. Hold this. Unless he wasn't expecting to see a dead body. I'm going to say it's smell. It has to be it's smell, right? Be, it's got to smell like shit. <laughs> I think it smells worse. That's fair. Okay, scarred for life. Willow, how can you stand it? Just doing her job. Gotta do what you gotta do. Can't we be elsewhere? Is Oz cleared or what, huh? Too early. Yeah, way too early. I'm not sure. There are a lot of incised wounds, but they could be from anything. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Let me just get a few stray hairs from her body. <gasps> what? Well, she held it together, but she's probably also affected. Uh-huh. Doesn't look good for us, does it? It really doesn't. I mean, it, like, it doesn't really look like anything now. The guy was ripped apart by a big wild animal. Well, sure. it was ripped apart. Yes. He. He was ripped apart. He's a person. Yes, yes, That's yes, my yes. Bad. <laughs> Oh, did you say it? I said yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we? I think it's Dimension still. Yeah. Like she brought him back. Uh-huh. Well, ooh, hey, <laughs> right? The <laughs> that's, whole... that's some nice artwork. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm really wondering what has to be done to 
get his mind back at least somewhat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair. Oh, Faith. You know what? At least she's not asleep, so... Yes, yeah. yes. And come on, you can hear Dude. him growl. Are you okay? What are you doing here? She'll be fine. Yeah. Bleeding internally. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I came to give you the rest of the night off. How come? Yeah. Couldn't sleep. I mean, yeah. I was going kind of crazy in here. But I can get in a few statements before sunrise. Cool. Knock yourself out. Whatever. Yeah. Not literally, though. Basically just a shift change. I think that works perfectly. For sure. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of great that they can shift change. I know. Yeah. yeah. Every time I watch this, I'm like, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I see the intro to that high school, I think, oh, those ledges. <laughs> nice. I just want to skate there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're long and have clearly been skated for a long time. They're going to be buttery. Aw. Yeah. Hey. Did you bring me a coffee? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Faith in her nutty books. Exploring demon dimensions? Sure is. The mystery of a Cuthler. Okay. Yeah. And she still listens to heavy metal. What? <laughs> I don't know. I had a dream about Angel. Brought up some questions. Really not ready to share. Yeah. Must have been some dream. I didn't think you knew what a card index was for. Yes. <laughs> so I got to pause here because it's like <laughs> what I meant it when she was like looking through it. Mm, right. Mm. Not like that. I don't know what a card index is. Of course. I just every time I forget that that's what she's doing, that she's looking for a costly information. Like yeah. The books on I, him. I'm I like, assume she was looking for information. I just didn't know what on. I don't know. I don't know. Somehow like I'm forgetting it every time. And I'm like, oh yeah, she's reading up on him, which makes sense. Absolutely. After her encounter now, like she knows full well what happened. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I dreamt that he came back. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Sure. After Jenny was killed, I had dreams that she was still alive, that I saved her. Oh, that must be heartbreaking to wake up. Very much. This was vivid. Three-dimensional sense around the hills are alive. Do you believe it was a prophecy? Mm, wouldn't be the first time. I know, yeah. They really don't get into that much. Yeah, not like deep. Yeah. I guess it just, it made me wonder. No record of anyone returning gate was closed. I, I, I can't imagine how it could happen or, or why. Which is fair, but you should have said that, yeah, I feel like that's going to happen, you know? Pretend for a second that Angel somehow found his way back to Sunnydale. What do you be like? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. From what is known about uh, that dimension, brutal torment. Yeah. Time moves quite differently there, so... Yeah, so it's possible he's been there for, like, a long time. Yeah. He would have been down there for hundreds of years of torture. Hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. It would take someone of extraordinary will and character to survive and retain any semblance of self. Mm-hmm. Most likely he'd be a monster. You know, I've mentioned quite a few times how... Uh, I've watched like a bunch of shows that were clearly influenced by Buffy. And I mean, maybe those influences also come from other places. Yeah. But all I'm thinking right now is what Supernatural did with, I um, can't remember who went to hell first for like, it was Sam? Um, well, yes. It was like season yes, yes. six or seven um, or something, Sam goes to hell. Hectic. Yeah. yeah. And the will and character thing also comes up in another show that I mm. really like. And that whole... Um, idea explored even further it's like the very very big part of the show the will and character of somebody and mm -hmm. where they go from there for sure yeah a last cause maybe not yes two types of monster the first uh, can be redeemed or more importantly wants to be redeemed yeah right second is void of humanity cannot respond to reason or love oh well, we know that's a real thing right obviously yes, yes. I feel like it's actually quite rare to meet like a real monster who can't be reasoned with, but mm -hmm. it happens. Yeah. Glazed your cake. I've been a Mr. Donut since the TV did that snowy thing. I'll get in that. Nope. How come you're the wiki girl? This time it's not your boyfriend who's the cold blooded. Hang on. She said she went to Mr. Donut when the TV did the snowy thing. Yeah. Yeah, which is, I mean, like, there's, there's a point in time, I'm pretty sure, where certain channels just weren't broadcasting for, like... Oh, until, like, everybody wakes up. Yeah, for, like, certain amount of, of hours in the night. Oh, right. You know, so the TV goes to, like, no broadcast, and she goes yeah, to yeah, Mr. Yeah. Donut. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, obviously, I got the point of she didn't sleep and yeah. went there early, but the snowy thing I didn't get, but it totally makes sense. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened with the inspection of the body? Was it werewolf? Well, she doesn't really know. It, it wasn't conclusive. Yeah. What did it look like? Was he bit? Let her finish, Buffy. Vampires can kill in other ways, though. It's true. I'm sorry. Uh huh. It's yeah. okay. You didn't go too hard. Yeah, Just you did. Just a little. Yeah. Buffy, over here. 
<laughs> what is that? Yeah, orange is a tough color to pull off. No, no, no. Oh, you're talking about something. I'm just looking I'm at his. I'm talking about the Play-Doh Jello, but go on. Wait, what? That's that's what she has. She has three types of Jello on her plate. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm I'm just not a. Like orange, you can make work. I think it's tough, especially if you have any yeah. kind of tan. Like, actually, I feel like if you're like you're really pale or really dark, you can probably pull off orange. But like somewhere mm. in the middle, you just look too much like the thing you're wearing. Yeah, like if you want to go it's with, too close in you just dry, you just gotta go not for orange, but like for other shades of it. Yeah, for sure. You know, not for, sure. for like, I guess the main color. Yeah, yeah. Like I would consider Scott just a little too tanned. Yeah. To be wearing an orange thing. Same for you. Oh, I, just, I yeah. don't wear orange. Yeah, that. there's a reason you don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My stomach doesn't want hard food today, but there's fruit in it. Some marshmallows. <laughs> oh! Okay, uh -huh. not fruit. <laughs> no. I'm really out of it today. I didn't sleep well last night. Well, if the fucking jello isn't going to help. Yeah. Don't tell Mr. Platt you have insomnia. I'll make you start a dream journal. I never did it. He's a quack. I kind of liked him. Uh, yeah, I don't think he is. Yeah, he seemed kind of solid. Yeah, I guess he's kind of funny and stuff. It's just sometimes I just don't like the things he says. Oh, uh, what? There things? could be a good reason for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, my mom says that therapy can be completely helpful. Yes. Yeah, but your mom has the wattage of a Zippo lighter, Scott. Bro, that's kind of disrespectful. Yeah. I thought you would like me better if I had friends, so I hired them. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Nice. Good handling. Yeah. I wanted to tell you that you look great today. Sure. But now I want to raise that to amazing because you didn't sleep well. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Sweet. Um, oh. And I wish I didn't have to. What's happening? Well, she's not doing okay today, obviously. That makes sense. Yeah. Today would be a freak out day. Check out Scotty liking the manic depressive chick. Bruh. Yeah, and? Are you serious? Yeah. Got a plan here or? Just checking up. Mm. What are you doing? Him? Yeah. Just cowering? Angel. Do you understand me? Maybe a little? Yeah. Deep inside? It's possible, you know, he's been down there so long, he's just like, nothing's real. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or like he forgot and yeah. he's like trying to remember. For sure. I mean, a few years in like a hellhole can get people to sort of think that nothing's real. Mm. You know, a couple hundred years, no, no idea. Yeah. Like that was his only way to survive. Mm. I can't. I have to meet a friend. So you'll be late, but happy. Will she? <laughs> um, maybe she'll be late and dead. <laughs> no, no, let's stay here. Wow, the cinematography of this. Yeah? Yeah, what's... Yep. Oh, okay. Just fully concentrating on it. No, Debbie, you did not drink that, did you? Drink it? You know I didn't. What? That is a good question. Yeah. Two o'clock, Buffy Summers, right? Wait. Don't turn around. Is he dead? No. Oh. Seriously? There's something going on. Oh, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah. I'm convinced he's not alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's nobody else that I can talk to. They found out they'd freak on me or... Oh, that's... Are you going to at least try to see his face or are you kind of happy that you can't see it so you can just talk? I'd hope at some point. Yeah. I need help. She needs help. Yeah. yeah. I need to talk to someone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm so scared. This guy. Uh-huh. He... Yeah. Oh, now she notices the fucking cigarette. Does he even still have, like, He's his... He's come back. Oh, he does. Still... Oh, God damn. What yep. the fuck? Yep, he is fucked up. The bottle just jumped out of the cabinet and spilled on its own. I, I was trying to get rid of it. Whatever that was. Yeah. To help you. You know how you get. This has anything to do with how I get. I don't need this anymore, okay? Nothing? Um, you see? You see? What? Have you been experimenting on yourself? All it takes now is you, Debbie, and your stupid grating voice. Um. Oh, well, that's weird. That is not something I like seeing. Yeah. You're the reason I started the formulas in the first place. Be the man you want. She wanted? Were you trying to make yourself the perfect man or something? Is that something your shrink taught you, Debbie, huh, to share? I mean, I'd say so. Even he's not going to listen to your pathetic ramblings anymore. I am all you've got! Oh, because he killed the shrink, yeah. of course. Well, he's dead. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, Coming back. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's concerning. Very. The fuck do we do about this? Mm-hmm. You know you shouldn't make me mad. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Debbie, please. Are you all right? Another thinly veiled uh, uh, metaphor for abuse. That is more, like, I guess, less thinly veiled. It's barely yeah. veiled at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Non-supernatural abuse, yes. I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Peter is especially brutal. Flat was killed shortly before Buffy found him. So during the day. Mm-hmm. Not a werewolf or a vampire. Yeah. We're all glad asses off the hook. Yeah. Absolutely. Shouldn't he be here by now? Sunsets at 5.30. Oh, no. Well, he's waiting for a friend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Remember, he was going to give her the biology notes. Yeah. Did you bring the notes? <laughs> yeah. What's up with you? I'm such a klutz. <laughs> you have a black eye. Yeah. Tell them. It's your eye. Uh-huh. Sure did. Familiar story? Mm. If you want to talk. So you've seen things, huh? Thanks again for the notes. Yeah. Yeah, the way he handles how oh, he's handling it. Yeah. I will say, if you can recognize signs of abuse, it's probably because you've been around it, mm. at least. Mm -hmm. If not being through it, obviously. But clearly we're looking for a depraved, sadistic animal. Present. It's a, a kill in the day monster, 100% for sure. Oh, that's, that's good. Relief. <laughs> this, yeah. We have two victims. Jeff Walken and uh, now Platt. Uh, well, yeah. three, just one of them isn't dead. Oh, right, yes, yes. My girlfriend. Yeah. Debbie. There you go. Well, victim number one, Jeff. He was in jazz band with us. They used to horse around. They were yeah. screwing? No. No, that's not what he's. No. I think so, but. Yeah. Uh, I know, I was like, I don't think like, so. And we know that Debbie knew Platt. Saw Debbie a minute ago sporting a nasty black eye. Pretend Debbie wanted Platt dead. Maybe he fought back. Uh, I mean, it's a thought. Platt was dead in an instant. He didn't even drop his cigarette. Yeah. Uh -huh. What if boyfriend Pete's the one doling out the punishment? Yeah. We should find them both immediately. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and I, team, will I stick with that? And I'll go lock myself in the cage. Yes. That's fair. That's a good one. Uh. No reason to stop, yeah. You know what works? What? Don't get hit. Dude. Oh, yes. Yeah. Normally I'd say you want to play I have a secret fine, but people are dying here. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that, Debbie. It's not his fault. I mean, he's not himself when he gets like this. Whose fault is it? Yeah. It's me. Uh, I make him crazy. He, he just does yeah. what he does because he loves yeah. me too much. Well, she's buying into the bullshit he's beating into her. Absolutely. I didn't ask for your help. Well, when are you going to? Debbie, we're running out of time. <sighs> Is he weakening the support? You'd think he'd be able to do this, right? Yeah. I do think that, yeah. Yeah. Where can we find him? I, I don't know. You're lying. What are you going to do about it? Well, she can do things for sure. Yeah. Look at yourself. Sure. Yeah. Why are you protecting him? Anybody who really loved you couldn't do this to you. When you're the one in the situation and you end up thinking these things because you don't know a way out. It's mm -hmm. the only reality that functions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, if you don't know that from an outside perspective, it, obviously it can be hard to understand. But yeah. If you can go into that situation yeah. with that perspective, it changes things. Yeah. It's scarier for her to think what Buffy thinks, what yeah. the guys thinks. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's her norm. Yeah. She, she honestly Safe thinks like, there. this is as good as it gets. I've been making it work. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Would they take him someplace? I could never do that to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two people are dead. Who's going to be next? She thinks it's not his fault. Yeah. Or at least she wants to believe that. Absolutely. To make it work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pause again. Yeah, yeah quickly pause before we get to Oz. Yeah. I got to say that with the limited knowledge overall like an experience that buffy has i think she handles this situation like as well as she I, no, that's totally fair yeah like yeah. gotta point that out absolutely it does come off like she's like angry and pushy but i actually am impressed that she's not going too hard on that yeah yeah, no, I, see, yeah, yeah. I mean i know that you see this yeah. i just like i just wanted to say that because yeah. like it's important of yeah. course i would like her to handle this a little bit more like patiently but we don't have time yeah but and more than that like that kind of care takes a little bit of time to grow into exactly yeah exactly you have to know enough for sure yeah, yeah. so from that yeah yeah since when do you touch my girl what yeah wow this is kind of a bad time i guess you didn't think about that when you put the moves on debbie Buddy. it sure didn't yeah 
Man, he's really lost his mind. Yeah. When that sun cool. sets, you won't be allowed to see it. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Being reckless and paranoid will make you stupid. Yeah. Something's gonna happen that you probably won't believe. Oh, something's gonna happen to him that you probably won't believe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he like Oz is very open to everything, so. Or you might. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oz. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go. I have to find Pete. He does love me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I think we broke her. He does love No. Me. She was already broken, dude. Yeah. I think she was broken before this. Yeah. Yeah. When reality comes crashing in and you've been away from it for a while, avoiding it intentionally or otherwise, yes. yeah, it's, that can be rough. Yeah. Ah! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Is there somewhere for you to be? Oh, no, okay. No reason. I yeah. see. Rules change. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess he figures he'll stay and fight. Oh, I mean, I mean, he won't really be aware. Like, yeah, yeah. Of the he fighting. He knows that. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, Pete, have you bitten off more than you can chew? And of course, he keeps going because oh, he, yeah. he's not thinking. Oh, he's out of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Luckily, that was a it's not scream, my dude. Find them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was that? <laughs> yeah, you could. What the fuck? It's a trank. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't, I'm not. I'm not blaming her. That, no. I get yes, it. Yes. That yes. will happen. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can you get the rope? Yeah. Also, definitely. someone take care of Debbie. I know. I know. I feel they like don't know. Willow should have. Yeah. They're really expecting I, I her to just like get Be it okay. together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, this guy's crazy. He's yeah. treating me wrong. Dude, it takes more Aww. than one night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? How many cases? You know? Yeah. When it takes fucking years. Oh. You make progress, you go back. You make progress, you go back. It depends on how you handle it. But um, you can get someone to recognize the extent of their situation in maybe like a six-month period, mm -hmm. depending on how severe it was. I mean, obviously, the less severe, the less time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And obviously, if it's too far gone, it's... Who knows? Yeah. All right. Are you all right? Uh, he's not all right. No. Dude. I stopped her. Are you serious? Yeah. Debbie. Oh, but yeah, no one was taking care of her. Yeah. Like I said, they don't know. She knows. How did she know, Debbie? Oh. Did you run your big mouth? Ah, uh, yeah. It seemed like she just knew. Mm. So you filled in the blank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is what happened. Even if she didn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, absolutely mm. it doesn't, no. You're nothing but a waste of space. No. Uh, I'm glad those doors weren't locked. Yeah. Oh, God. Is Debbie already dead? Oh, my. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's good. Yeah, obviously this is this can be handled. Yeah. But for real, you can't like stake this guy, can no. you? I mean, like, oh, oh, um, um, I mean, yeah, Angel could take care of this, but like, I don't know if Pete should be dead so much as in prison or a facility. He'd yeah, need more than just I, a psychiatric care, though. Yeah, definitely. Like, prison also wouldn't be... Yeah, good, prisons are he, wildly inaccurate for this kind of re rehabilitation. Like, how, how do you... Yeah. Oh, so he's he's dead now? But, yes. Okay. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah. I mean, realistically, I, I, I'm not sure what they could have figured out... I know. ...to deal with Pete properly. I know, yeah. It's tough. Uh-huh. Got a little bit of mind back? Yeah. Got all of your mind back? Uh, I would appear that way. Yeah. Buffy. Yeah, he's like... I think he's like still sort of in the process, but mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that moment. Yeah. Oh. It doesn't shock me at all that, like, needing to take care of Buffy was the thing that did it. Yeah. His human connection, his um, mm -hmm. humanity. For sure. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This scene is just so rough. And, and it's a tough one when you're thinking about the story perspective, because, like, I think there are, I guess, important messages and things to understand and recognize in mm -hmm. almost any version of how the end of this story plays out. Mm -hmm. And you kind of need to go through the version where yeah. everybody dies. Yeah, yeah. 
which I don't even know if that's technically the worst case outcome. It depends I, on how you I think know. about it. Definitely depends on how you think about it. This version of the story does need to be told. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's all over school. What happened with Debbie and Pete? Except for that Pete was a monster part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a freshman told me that Pete had eight iced cafe mochas and just lost it. What the fuck? I mean, there's just stories people tell. Yeah, I just wish they'd come up with something that he was on actual drugs. Yeah. Pete was a monster? Where have I been? Yeah, where have you been? I know. I love that writing. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Science was doing a Jekyll Hyde deal. He was afraid Debbie was going to leave him, so he mixed this potion to become super moss macho. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. After a while, he didn't need the potion to turn into yeah. a bad guy. There's nothing really macho about being a raging asshole, either. Yeah. He wasn't under the influence of anything. Just himself. Obviously, like, making a point here, like, very fucking clearly mm. with this dialogue. Mm. And Cordy asking, so he wasn't under the influence? Yeah. And Buffy says, no, just himself. Like, yeah. They fucking wrote it as... Uh, yeah, as close to reality as they could. Yeah. While still being in a supernatural environment. Yes. Not yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, I think that that is a perfect sort of way to, to put it. It's just like, even if they were on drugs, like, I've never fucked with some, like, PCP. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, something yeah. that will actually... <laughs> Fuck your brain like PCP. that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Snyder. Snyder for comment sure, here. For yeah. sure. But I do know enough about, like, that most drugs aren't the reason that people do the fucked up things they do even while they're on drugs. There are a lot of other reasons, and most of it is, like, personal problem, like, deep down, In can't yeah, figure inside. out how to fix it kind of shit. Yes. You know? Yeah. And it's like a running away of from that. Absolutely. And it's good that they got to that here mm -hmm. and at the time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to be stuck with serious thoughts all day. <laughs> <laughs> Just Cordy. Got to have them sometimes, man. Yeah. I don't know what to say. That's not going to sound stupid or obvious. That's appreciated. I've been friends with them both since before we started school. Wow. Yeah. They were like his two closest friends. Yeah. It's just that you never really know what's going on inside somebody. Mm hmm. I mean, you think if you care about them, but you never really do. Well, especially as a kid. Full moon rose high over the trees, lighting the land till it lay bathed in ghostly day. Yeah, so going back to where we started, sort of. You stay and just sleeping on the floor. Yeah. Things born of fire and roof were his, yet he retained his wildness and wiliness. And from the depths of the forest, the call still sounded. Well, I guess what she can do at the moment to help him come back. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, at the very least, she's going to watch over him. But yeah, and like I can kind of understand why she's not really sharing mm -hmm. with anyone. I do wish she would share with at least Giles. Yeah. Um. Because that would like help share that later with the rest of them. Yeah. Well, no. No. No, just because she shouldn't be keeping this to herself. But I also understand that, like, she doesn't feel like the gang maybe handled her situations particularly well yeah. over the last however many months yeah. or year or whatever. They're barely back to normal to have this happen. Yeah, yeah. She probably doesn't want to have that wrench thrown in the works again. She just yeah. wants to, like, take a minute to just figure it out. Yeah. Which I do get, but... um. Obviously, that can be dangerous. Oh, yeah, of course. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this episode. Yeah, it's a serious one. It, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, I was thinking, what can I say about it in the beginning, you know? Because, like, all these things that I want to say, I, I can't. Yeah, it gives away, it would give away too much. Yes. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, but, like, it's a good episode. Yeah, it's confronting. Character development, oh, definitely. Mm. As much as I enjoyed this episode and felt like it was well written it's hard to be like hey that was fun we had a great time i mean obviously we had a good time filming but absolutely great storytelling important issues and well handled yeah but it is it is tough to watch it is yeah, yeah. You know, i think it's important to have these stories like i said before but um yeah tough it's so important to have all these moments in there with like Cordelia and Xander banter and, mm. you know, every one of them bringing a little bit of light mm -hmm. in, in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, this show does a pretty good job of mixing the light and the dark Yeah. overall. So mm -hmm. anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video with us. If you did, maybe we'll see you next week. Bye.